Carlos, we're live on BBC Radio Leeds. Many, many congratulations. We've spoken to Spaniards inside the stadium and a lot of very, very happy West Yorkshire people. How did you do it? It was a very tense evening. It was a difficult, difficult and tough game. I cannot tell you that uh, I was enjoying because we were... Uh, it was, a, again, difficult to manage and difficult to, to, to find solutions to, that allow us to be better in the pitch because I think the first minutes of the game were excellent with the people and we started to find advantages in the middle that allow us to attack a lot in offensive half. But it's true that the last minutes of the first half, they start to be better than us. So more than better, they start to feel more comfortable. And it's clear that for me, the, the bigger chance in the first half were more for, for Luton than for us. In the second half, we did some adaptation that for me allowed us to press better in the first line. Today, may play more directly in no accumulate passes. And the game was too balanced until the end. Your team coped so well with the loss of Danny Ward in the first half. It could have been a disaster for a, a, a team with lesser equipment. How pleased are you with the way that they reacted to Danny Ward having to go off? I think uh, the fact that uh, the attitude of your own roads is always excellent. And for me, he had a lot of contribution, not only because he scored during all the game. For me, he was helping a lot of the team to, to achieve the result that we achieved tonight. And your team still had to defend right until the end because actually Luton didn't change their game much. They, they kept coming at you and kept creating chances. Yes, I think it was a difficult game to balance because of all these reasons. And they are one team that they don't need to play too much to put the ball in the box and to have danger. But I think the concentration in the back line and the keeper today was massive. And, and after, with the last minute, we saw as a, as a central back, a hoy in the middle of the pitch. We balanced a little bit and we were recovering the ball and creating counter-attacks that we didn't finish in, in chance, but allowed us to be living the last minutes and managing well the game. How much did the goal scored by Jordan Rhodes actually change your plans to make that final substitution? We thought that Tino Angerin might be coming on next. Yes, the idea was to put uh, Angel in the pitch to try to unbalance more and attack more, but as soon as we were watching that we were scoring the goal, uh, we understand that the best player to play was Navisar, and fortunately uh, everything was working like this. Before Jordan Road scored, how much were you expecting it to go into extra time and maybe preparing for penalties? No, first of all, the, the, the idea was to keep the good balance in defence to, 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 to go to the extra time or to do, don't lose the game. But at the same time, trying to go for the goal, and that's why we wanted to put one offensive player in the football pitch. But in one specific situation, we could uh, change the game, and that's why we changed the, the plan that we had in the mind. Did you get what you wanted from the home crowd today? Well, it was so, so, so special, the support that they were giving us from the first moment and in the three difficult moments. Not only the good moments of the team, not only after we scored the goal, they were just uh, helping a lot to find the energy to can achieve the result that we achieved tonight. And the big pitch invasion, I suppose, is typical of this situation because people don't want to contain their emotions. And now you can think about Wembley. How do you feel about that personally, taking your team to Wembley? Really, really, really excited and motivated. And my mind starts now to be thinking the first 11. I have a first idea now, but of course we need to analyze the opponent, we need to analyze everything, but it's exciting to keep playing in the the championship and of course with the target to to go to the final and to, and to achieve something important. I realise, you, well you just said it, the team hasn't strictly speaking achieved anything yet but you've got the prize of a trip to Wembley. Um, will you celebrate privately and with the team just the achievement of going to Wembley? Will you give yourselves a couple of days of celebration before you start to prepare properly? I think it's, it's important that the players celebrate now between them and with their families because it was the target that we had today. From tomorrow, we will have another different target. So, and the first one will be to rest before we start to prepare the next, next game. And as I know that in a couple of days or two, three days, that we are going to have to recover a little bit. The players are going to be just with the mentality to go to Wembley and to make something important because it doesn't mean sense to, to go to, to Wembley yard for the travel. It means sense to go there to make a good game. One more win, and you could be a Premier League head coach. One more game that we have to prepare really well, one more game that we need to analyse very well the opponent and one more game that we have. We will try to compete in our best level and as always we try to do is to make the result the consequence of a positive performances. Still things to improve and th still things that we are doing enough well. Then now time to analyse, to prepare and to enjoy this, the opportunity to play one more game.
Which opponent do you think will be the toughest? Do you have a preference? No idea. I was watching the other day the game, and the fact that uh, Sheffield scored one goal in the last minute of the game allowed, allowed them to be in the, in, the, in the game, allowed them to have a lot of possibilities. But I was watching two, two teams that, they, for me, they have a very good players, that they are there because they deserve to be there, and the one that is uh, being the finalist because they are going to deserve, because both teams are very good teams. And Huddersfield Town have certainly earned their position in the playoff final as well. Carlos, many congratulations from all of us. Allow yourself to enjoy the moment, please. Yes, now it's the moment to recover, to be calm, and, and that's all. And from tomorrow after tomorrow to start to prepare the, this final that is a very special game for me. And for us. Thank you, Carlos. You're welcome.